Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back once again on the YouTube channel of Virgil's Exam Prep. Friends, in this session, we are going to discuss uh, the question paper of the logical reasoning section of CMAT 2023. So we'll be discussing all the questions that appeared in logical reasoning questions that were from uh, logical reasoning, except the questions of verbal reasoning. So as we all know that uh, there were what, uh, there were 20 questions in each of the slots uh, in, in the examination of uh, logical reasoning, in the examination of CMAT in the section of logical reasoning. So out of these 20 questions, so basically these 20 questions are a mix of uh, the questions of analytical reasoning and the verbal reasoning. So in this session, I have selected only the questions which are from analytical reasoning. So in each of these slots of CMAT 2023, we have seen 13 out of 20 questions from analytical reasoning and seven questions were based on verbal reasoning, uh, which, which would include the topics like statements, assumptions, strengthening the argument, weakening the argument, syllogisms, and so on and so forth. So hello everyone, hello Delin, Delin Carlos, hello. So I hope uh, those students who are present in this session, they must have taken uh, CMAT examination. And today we are going to discuss uh, the questions of analytical reasoning which appeared in the section of logical reasoning of CMAT 2023. Yes, in this session I'll be discussing the questions in both the slots. So we'll start from slot number one. I'll be displaying the question, we'll wait for five to ten seconds so that you can read the question and then we'll immediately give you the solution or the answer key for that question. All right, so let's quickly begin. Now the students who are preparing for other examinations, they are studying logical reasoning. So they can also be a part of this session as uh, this session will help them uh, in revising these topics that we are going to discuss today. Okay, all right. So the actual questions that appeared in CMAT logical reasoning section, here we are going to discuss them. <clears throat> yes, Delnin, uh, it is a good score, 312 out of 400 raw score. So yes, it's a good score, it's a wonderful score and you can expect calls from uh, some good colleges, okay? So let us begin with the, the first slot of the question paper of CMAT 2023 logical reasoning section. Once again, I'm telling you that we'll be considering only the analytical reasoning questions, not the verbal reasoning questions. In each slot out of 20, there were 13 questions of analytical reasoning and seven questions from verbal reasoning. So I have dropped all the questions of verbal reasoning and we'll be looking at only analytical reasoning questions, which are 13 out of 20. Question number one on your screen now. So in this case, it is given that in an extended family, A is married to B and B has two sons, C and D. So A is married to B. So A and B will be husband and wife or wife and husband. Okay. Right now, I don't know the gender of A and B. So A is married to B and B has two sons, C and D. So basically, A and B will have two sons, C and D. Okay. So that means we know the gender of these sons. Obviously, they are sons. So they will be, uh, they will be males. Okay. The younger son D is married to E. So the wife is E. F has two children, E and G. So E is the child of F, where F has two children. One is E and the other one is G. All right. Now the gender of G is not known. So question is, how is G related to D? So how is this person related to this person? Now, G, who is G? G is B's wife's sibling. D ki wife ke sibling. Okay, now sibling G can be male or female. So if G is male, then G will be the brother-in-law of B. If G is female, then G will be the daughter, uh, sorry, sister-in-law of B. So the answer can be brother-in-law or sister-in-law. Since we don't have, cannot be determined among the options, we can mark brother-in-law as the answer. Okay, so the answer of this question should be option B, that is brother-in-law. Okay, now in case we have an option like cannot be determined, I would certainly mark cannot be determined because there can be two possibilities depending upon the gender of G. So if G is female, like I mentioned, answer will be sister-in-law, but the gender of G is not given, sister-in-law is, sister is not among the options. So brother-in-law is the most appropriate answer that we can mark. All right. So that was question number one. Let's move on to question number two. 
Now, question number two is a grid based question. So, look at this. Question says that a word is represented by only one set of numbers as given in any one of the options. The sets of numbers given in the options are represented by two classes of alphabets, as in the two matrices. A letter from matrix are represented first by the row and then by the column. So if I want to represent, let's say, uh, alphabet B, if I want to represent alphabet B, so alphabet B is here, so it can be written as 0, 2. So alpha B, alphabet B can be written as 0, 2. It is also here, so it can also be written as 1, 1. It can also be written as 4, 3. So there are multiple ways in which there are multiple ways in which alphabet B can be represented. Okay. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to find out the set of uh, the set of numbers, the set of uh, codes for the given word that is rain. Okay. Now the best way of doing this type of question is going through options. So I have to find out uh, uh, the, the numbers that will be represented by rain. So I'll start with R or first option. So first option, option A, 57. So 57, 57, 57 is R. That is correct. 1, 2, 12. 12 is here, which is A. 3, 1, 31. 31 is uh, I. And 5, 6, 56. 5, 6, 56 is N. So definitely these set of numbers represents rain. And first option, that is option A, is the correct answer. Okay. So, in any case, you will have to go through the options in such type of question. Or this is the fastest way to get the answer. So, the correct answer for this question is option A. All right. Let's move ahead and look at the next question, question number three. Now, question number three is based on uh, counting the number of people who are sitting in the row. This is a very common question that you will find in this examination. So question is, few men are sitting in a row facing north. So all of them are facing the same direction. Sunil is 16th to the left of Ram. So Sunil is to the left of Ram. Okay, so Ram and Sunil. And Sunil is 16th to the left of Ram. So that means the total number of people that will be sitting between Sunil and Ram will be equal to 15. Then only uh, Sunil will be 16th to the left of Ram. Right? Now Ram... Who is 18th from the right hand side? Now Ram from the right hand side is 18. So that means on the right hand side of Ram, there will be 17 people who will be sitting. Done. Now next statement, Jack is 11th from left. Jack is 11th from left. So there will be 10 people who will be sitting on the left hand side of Jack. And it is also 4th to the right of Sunil. Now, Jack is fourth to the right of Sunil. So, if I combine this, I can say that Sunil, Jack. Jack is fourth to the right of Sunil. So, between Sunil and Jack, there will be three people. Okay. Now, these four people, including Jack, will be among these 15 people. So, 15 minus 4 is 11. So, remaining 11 people will be there on the right-hand side of Jack and to the left-hand side of Ram. Now, Ram has 17 people on the right hand side. Okay. Now, talking about to the left of Sunil. Sunil ke left mein kitne honge. Now, total number of people on the left of Jack is 10. Now, left of Jack, these are 4 people. Remaining 6 will be there on the left of Sunil. So, now the arrangement is completed and you can count the total number of people. So, 6, 7th is Sunil, then 10, 11, 22, 23, 23 and 17, that is 40. So 40 will be the correct answer for this question. Okay. So question number three, correct answer is option D, that is 40. Let's move ahead and look at the next question. Next question is find the missing number from the given alternatives. Now, at the time of examination, it, it is definitely difficult to answer such type of question. Okay, you can uh, invest 30 seconds, 40 seconds, maybe a minute, two minutes. If you are unable to get the logic, if you are unable to crack the concept behind this question, then it will be difficult for you to even solve this question in a matter of five minutes. So logically, uh, ideally, 
you should not be spending more than 45 seconds to crack the logic. In case you have cracked the logic, go ahead, mark the answer. Otherwise, after 45 seconds or maximum one minute, agar logic samajh mein nahi aata, is question ko chhod do and aage bado. Thik hai? Now, the logic of this question is, these two numbers, square these numbers, 3 square plus 4 square. 3 square plus 4 square is 25. And 25 into 3 is the number at the center, which is 75. Okay. Let's do it for the next set. 7 and 9. 7 square is 49. 9 square is 81. So square of 7 and square of 9. Okay. That is 130, which 1 multiplied by 3 will give me 390. Okay. So it is satisfied for these two. Uh, up to you, you, you want to check it for the third set of uh, numbers. You can do that. Otherwise, you can directly find out the answer. 13 square is 169 plus 5 square is 25. Adding these two, 170, 185 multiplied by 3. Okay. 185 uh, multiplied by 3. Once again, 169, 170, no, 195. So 195 multiplied by 3. Uh, one second, I have to do the wrong thing. Yes. So I have understood the mistake. I am adding them wrongly. So 160, 170, 194. Now multiplied by 3. Okay. So the answer here will be 582. So 582, that is option C is the correct answer for this question. Okay. Yes, understood. This is a difficult logic to crack. Examination may uh, itna uh, nahi baate hum, hai? So probably at the time of examination, you might not get the logic of this question, but I have explained this is the logic of this. Okay. Now moving ahead to the next question, question number five. Now, question number five is an easy question. Kuch nahi karna, koi logic nahi hai. Whatever they are saying in the uh, in this question, you will have to apply for the options and mark your answer. So there are two interchanges which are done. Interchange between minus and multiply sign and interchange between the numbers 3 and 6. After the interchange, after both these interchange, you will have to find out which of the options, which of the options has the correct equation after the interchange. Okay. So looking at first option, it will become 3 multiply 6 minus 2. Now 3 into 6 is 18. 18 minus 2 is 16. On the right hand side, I have 9. So option A is not correct. Option B, 3 minus 6 multiply 4. Definitely it will give me a negative result, which will not be equal to 15. So option B is also incorrect. Option C, it will become, I'm writing at the bottom, 6 minus 3 multiply 4. Now 6 minus 12, again, the answer, the result should be in negative. So correct answer cannot be C. I'm left with only one option that has to be correct. But still, let us check it out. Okay. So it will be 6 multiply 3 minus 8. 6 into 3 is 18. 18 minus 8 is 10. 10 is on the right hand side and hence the correct answer for this question. So question number 5, option D is the correct answer. All right. Fine. Let's move ahead. Looking at next question, question number 6. Now, question number six is easy question of direction senses. Bahut easy question. Hai. Just follow the steps and you will get the answer. A girl leaves her home. Let's say this is the home. And walks 30 meters towards north. So, I'll take the conventional directions north, south, west and east. Okay. So, she walks 30 meters in the north direction. Okay. You don't have to look at uh, the distances. It's absolutely fine. She turns clockwise by 45 degrees. So she was going north, she turns clockwise by 45 degrees, that means she turns towards east but by 45 degrees and walks for 30 meters. So now she is walking in this direction for 30 meters. Then she turns anti-clockwise by 45 degrees and walks 30 meters. Okay, so anti-clockwise 45 degrees turn karegi. So she will come back to her original direction that is north. So anti-clockwise 45 degrees turn kia yahan pe. Okay, fine. And she walks 30 meters. 
Then she turns 90 degrees towards her left, 90 degrees towards her left and walks 60 meters. Okay. Now the 60 meters will be more than this length. So she will cross the vertical line and she will reach here. After that, she turns towards her home. She turns towards her home and starts walking. So now this is what direction in which she's walking. So from this point that I've marked with the green color, she started walking towards her house. So she is moving in this direction. That means southeast direction. So the correct answer here will be option B, that is southeast. Right? So the correct answer will be option B, southeast for question number six. With this, let's move on to question number seven. Now read it out. Question number seven is again an easy question of uh, blood relations. A is the son of B whose mother is C. B is the husband of E, the grandmother of C. So E is the grandmother of C. If F is the wife of A, how is F's father-in-law related to B's daughter? So A is the son. A is the son of B. Gender of B is not known. B whose mother is C. B ki mother kaun hai? C. The female. Now D is the husband of E. E is the granddaughter of C. So E will come in this direction, in this generation. E is the granddaughter of C and D is the husband of E. Okay, fine. Now if F is the wife of A, F is the wife of A, how is F's father-in-law? Now F's father-in-law will be the father of A. How is F's father-in-law related to D's daughter? D ki daughter jo bhi hogi, how is F's father-in-law, that means uh, either B or the husband of B. How is this person, wait, I'll put it with a green color. How is this person related to this person? So father-in-law, that is male, will be related to D's daughter. So since there is a gap of two generations between them, so it cannot be brother, it cannot be uncle, it cannot be cousin, it will be grandfather. So the father-in-law of F, will be the grandfather of the daughter of D. So the most appropriate answer is option C. Now here in this paper, I have noticed that there can be more than one possibilities for the answers of the questions of blood relations. The previous question that we have seen, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, there could have been two possibilities. In this question also, there can be multiple possibilities. Okay, but the most appropriate answer is what we are marking here. And hence, uh, we cannot do anything about it. Okay. So the correct answer here is grandfather, which is option C. Okay. Chalye. Chalte hai. Next question. Dekhte hai. Question number eight. Now these are very, uh, I, I would say that they can be tricky. They can be easy. They can be scoring questions. But a slight mistake, a slight error can uh, uh, fetch you negative marking. Okay. How many squares does the figure have? So first of all, I will count the squares, the smallest of these boxes like this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six squares like this, right? Now after six, I can count a square like this. So this is one square and I'll mark the other with a darker, darker color. So this is another square. So I have two more. Okay, now after this, I have, I can see one more square, which is like this. So this is also a square, a tilted square, fine, it is rotated. So there will be one more square and uh, beyond that, I could not see any square. So six plus two plus one, that is nine squares in total, this figure will have. All right, next question, question number nine. Now, once again, a question of uh, blood relations. Let's see if we can find out the unique answer. Okay. Now, Deepti was walking with her husband, Rajiv. So, Rajiv and Deepti are husband and wife respectively given. They met a woman, Millie. So, Millie is another woman. Okay. Now, Deepti introduced Millie to Rajiv and said, 
दिस इज वट ही सेड हर ब्रदर्स मिली के ब्रदर के फादर सो दैट मीन्स मिलीज फादर ओके सो मिलीज ब्रदर्स फादर विल बी मिलीज फादर सो दिस पर्सन मिलीज फादर इज द ओनली सन ऑफ माई ग्रैंड फादर हु इज माई दैट इज दीप्ति सो दीप्ति के ग्रैंड फादर का ओनली सन ग्रैंड फादर इज ओनली सन इज दिस पर्सन ओके सो हाउ इज दीप्ति रिलेटेड टू मिली हाउ इज दीप्ति रिलेटेड टू मिली सो मिली विल कम हेयर इन द सेम जनरेशन एज दैट ऑफ दीप्ति ओके सो दीप्ति रिलेटेड टू मिली दिस इज वट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ओके now dipti and mili they are siblings okay they are siblings as uh, we can clearly see dipti's grandfather's only sons daughter is mili okay so the correct answer here will be sister that is option c okay moving ahead to question number 11 a wonderful question this one was uh, a unique question of uh, coding and decoding now they are saying that rascal is coded as minus 22 so what will be the code for simple okay now i'll write the number equivalents for r a s c a l okay now r is 18 a is 1 then 19 3 1 and 12 now what they have done is they have put alternate negative and positive signs so this is negative positive negative positive negative and positive okay so 18 and 19 and 1 is minus 38 plus 4 and 12 16 so minus 38 plus 16 is minus 22 okay so what they have done is they have added and subtracted or i should say that subtracted and then added subtracted and then added alternately these number equivalents of the word okay so same uh, for simple this simple thing will happen uh, no and no two answers cannot be possible okay now simple s i m p l e so minus 19 plus 9 minus 13 Plus sixteen minus twelve plus five. You can simplify this and get the answer. Okay, so minus nineteen minus thirteen is minus thirty-two. Minus thirty-two and minus twelve is minus forty-four. Plus twenty-five and five thirty. So the correct answer here will come out to be minus fourteen. Minus fourteen. That is option A will be the correct answer. Right. Question number eleven. Uh, a similar question that we have done counting the number of people who are sitting in the row okay so some students were sitting in a row sheila was sitting 12th from right so sheila who is 12th from right there will be 11 people sitting on the right of sheila veena was sitting third from left veena was sitting third from left so two people between uh, two people on the left hand side of veena there were 15 students between these two so 15 students between these two like this and now you can count the total number of people so this one is comparatively easier than the previous one okay so 2 and 15 17 and 11 28 29 and 30 so in all there will be 30 students who will be sitting in this row so that is the question that is the answer of this question option a which is 30 next question question number 12 we have to count the number of triangles so similar type of questions are repeated blood relations counting the number of people in a row counting the number of squares or triangles are repeated in uh, the first slot of cmat now counting the number of triangles first of all smaller triangles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so eight triangles right now up till now eight smaller triangles theek hai now can we combine two triangles at a time yes i can do that so two triangles will form one triangle so this is one another will be like this okay then another like this and finally like this so there are four more triangles so 8 plus 4 is 12 so 8 plus 4 is 12 up till this point 
Now, after this, do we have any other triangle possible? No, I could not see any other triangle possible. Okay. So now, which answer will have to mark? Answer option B is 12. So 12 is the correct answer for this question. All right. Fine. Now, moving to the last question of uh, this set. Find the next term in the given series. So again, very easy question here. C A T E E R G I P and so on. So C, then one letter is dropped E, then F drop करके G, H drop करके I. So answer should start from I. Then look at the second alphabet A E and I. So A is number one, E is number five, I is the number nine. So they are adding four. So next will be thirteen, which is M. So I M. I M से आंसर शुरू होना चाहिए। I have only one option like this, so the correct answer I can straight away mark as option C. Okay? So these were the 13 questions from the analytical reasoning of the analytical reasoning area in logical reasoning section of C Mat 2023 slot number one. All right. Now let's move ahead and look at the next 13 questions which appeared in slot number two. Okay, so let us start with CMAT 2023 slot 2 question paper for logical reasoning in which we are going to discuss the questions of analytical reasoning and verbal reasoning questions will be discussed later on. Okay, so starting with question number 1, a simple question of uh, coding and decoding. Mouse is written as FTVPN. Okay, so what they have done, M plus 1 is N. So, first alphabet plus 1 and then kept it at the last position. O plus 1 is P. So, they have added 1 to each of these alphabets and then reversed it. So, same thing should happen with bracket. So, R plus 1 is S. So, the third, uh, the last alphabet should be S. Option B is eliminated. A plus 1 is B. So, B will come next. Option A will be eliminated. Then C plus 1 is D. I have D in both the options. K plus 1. L. L is there in option C but not in option D. So using elimination, I have eliminated option A, B and D. So the correct answer should be option C. Alright. Simple question. What is easy questions as CMAT exam is all about easy questions. Okay. Next question. In a certain code, CAB is written as 75. Now, this one is difficult. So, read this question and try to find out an answer for this. So, let's see if anyone can give me a correct logic for this one. Yes, Anmol, I agree with that. Uh, wait, wait, I'll go back. So, yes, I agree with that. I think I've missed it. So, A, E, I, middle term should be O. Yes, I, I totally agree. And this is U. So, A, E, I, O, U. So, answer should be I, O, then T, R, T, N. Yes, so I, O, N, my mistake, I, O, N should be the correct answer for this one. Yes, absolutely correct. Okay, let's go back and look at question number two. Now, question number two is a good question and is based on the reverse logic. Now, C, A, B. Now, reverse logic means C is coded as three, the number equivalent. This is one and this is two. Now, from the beginning, the number of C is 3. If I look at from the end, so from the end, the number of C will be 27 minus 3, that is 24. A will be 26 and B will be 25. Add these three numbers, the sum here will be 75. Okay, and that is the code for CAB. So this question is using the reverse logic. Now, same thing we'll do with rule R U L E. So R is 18. It's reverse logic uh, using reverse logic. 
its number equivalent will be 9. U is 21. Reverse logic, it will be 6. L is 12. Then it will become 15. And E is 5. And it will become 22. Adding these numbers, 22 and 15 is 37. 43, 52. So 52 is the sum of these numbers. The correct answer will be option D. So question number two, correct answer is option D. Okay. Next question, question number three. In a certain code language, if the word beautiful is coded as B F L T A E I U U. Okay. Then how is the word technical coded in that language? What is happening in this case? What is happening? Yes, anyone. Any one of you can tell me what is happening in this question. Now, how this word beautiful is coded? So, what they have done is they have first separated all the consonants and arranged them in alphabetical order. Okay. And then they have separated all the vowels and arranged them in alphabetical order. Okay. So, same thing should happen with technical. So, you don't have to write the answer for this. You can just directly go to the options. Now, C is repeated twice. So, the answer should start with C, C. Okay. Now, C, C. And then A should not come. Vowel should not come. Okay. Vowels will come at the end. Now, after C, C, it should be H, which is there in fourth option. T should not come. Okay. So, option A is also eliminated and the correct answer is option B. The logic is they have separated all the consonants, arranged them in alphabetical order. Then the remaining vowels are arranged in alphabetical order. This is how they have got the answer of this question. Okay. Question number four. Given below is the diagram which represents various sports played by the students. Based on the diagram, find the number of girls who neither play hockey nor football. So there is a rectangle represents football players, circle represents girls, and hockey is represented by triangle. So we have to find out the girls. That means it is included in the circle, which do not play hockey. It should be outside the rectangle. So this will not cover, this will not cover, this will not cover, nor football. So, not football. So, hockey or football, so I am left with only 6. So, the correct answer for this question will be equal to 6. Okay. Simple question. Tha. Next question, question number 5. Now, question number 5 is circular arrangement. Lengthy question hai. In the first slot, we did not find any lengthy questions like this, any, any lengthy question like this. But uh, apart from being lengthy, this question is very simple, straightforward question. Okay, Sada difficult nahi hai, simple sa question hai. So let's quickly make the logical structure for this. So there are six friends A, B, M, H, V, and G who are sitting around a circular table. So six friends, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not necessarily in the same order. Fine, koi problem nahi hai. Some of them are facing the center. This is the big problem. Now, out of these six, some of them are facing the center and the remaining are facing away from the center. So, this is a circular arrangement. Okay, a lengthy question. And the people are facing any direction, inside or outside. So, this is another element of difficulty. Okay. Now, Gaurav sits immediate left of, left of Vinita. Fine. Look at this statement. Only Abhishek and Vinita face away from the center. Now, this will be helpful. So, only A and B will face away from the center, which all of them are facing towards the center. So, if I start by placing Vinita here, who is facing outside, then Gaurav sits immediate left of Vinita. Immediate left of Vinita, wait, I'll put the chair numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have kept Benita at chair number 4 who is looking outside and Gaurav sits to the immediate left of Benita. Okay. So, uh, Benita is facing away from the center. Okay. Abhishek and Benita both are facing away from the center and Gaurav sits immediate left of Benita. Now, immediate left of Benita, 
immediate left of Vinita will be which chair number? Will it be chair number five or chair number three? It will be chair number three. So Gaurav will sit here at chair number three, immediate left of Vinita. Now Gaurav will be facing inside. This is given in the question. Next statement. Vaishali and Hari are sitting next to each other. Right now I cannot fill them. I leave this and come back. There are two people between Hari and Gaurav. Now, two people between Hari and Gaurav, in which direction? It does not matter, as there are six people. So, go in any direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you put two people between Hari and Gaurav, Hari will, both in both cases, will sit at chair number six. Okay? Hari is also facing inside. Okay? Now, Vaishali and Hari were sitting next to each other. So, Vaishali can either sit at chair number one or chair number five. Still not clear. And leave this. Look at the next fifth statement. Uh, Abhishek is the neighbor of both Manisha and Gaurav. Abhishek is the neighbor of both Manisha and Gaurav. So Gaurav ka neighbor hai. So it cannot be at chair number four. It has to be at chair number two. So Abhishek is the neighbor of Gaurav and Manisha. Manisha will come at chair number one. Now, Abhishek will uh, sit facing outside. Manisha will face inside. And the remaining person, Vaishali, will come at chair number 5, who is watching inside. Okay. Now, let's read the last statement. If Hari and Abhishek, if these two people interchange their positions, having same facing direction. So, they will face the same directions. So, Abhishek will come at chair number 6, will face outside. Hari will come at chair number 2 and face inside. Then, who among the following sits to the immediate left of Abhishek? So, Abhishek chair number 2 se utke chair number 6 pe a jayega. Okay, so Abhishek chair number 6 facing outside. Immediate left of Abhishek is Vaishali. So, Vaishali option A is the correct answer. Should be the correct answer for this question. Okay. Simple question tha, difficult nahi tha, but it was lengthy. Advice was to leave this kind of question in CMAT. CMAT mein hai, plenty of time hota hai. But still, first of all, we should not be getting into these lengthy questions. Finish the smaller ones and then later on come back to these type of questions. All right. Chaliye. Aage chalte hai. Next question. Question number six. Find the missing term. Asa answer question hai baat. Okay. Now, Z, Y, X, W reverse alphabets. So W से पहले क्या आता है? V. Okay, so answer should start with V. Then A B C D alphabet will be E. Then the number five four six three. So what should be next number? What should be the next number? Z A five Y B बीच में four आ गया. X C six W D Three. So what should be the next number? Now VE is to the next number. Ki hai. Still next number has to be 5, 6. Alternately, dekho, 7 will be the next number and it will be written at the third place. So VE7 should be the correct answer for this question. All right. Question number 7. Again, an easy question. So there was a mix of easy and difficult questions. Lengthy questions in slot 2. In slot number 1, we saw all, almost all the questions easy. Okay. Now percentage means less than, dollar means greater than, and hash means equal to. Now it is given that A percentage B, that means A is less than B, C hash D, C is equal to D, and C dollar B, that means C is greater than B. Then which of the following statements is true? So if I'll combine all of them, A is less than B, this one, then B is less than C, B is less than C, and C and D are equal. So this is the combined logical uh, structure for A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now which of the following statements is true? A greater than B, not at all, because A is less than B. A is less than C, yes it is true, because A is less than B, and B in turn is less than C. So, A will be less than C. So, I've got the correct answer. Now, you can straight away mark. C greater than D is not true because C and D are equal. D is less than B. No, D is greater than B is also not true. 
So the correct answer will be option B for question number seven. Correct? Chali, aage chalte hai. Next question, question number eight. Now question number eight again is an example of a lengthy question. So question dekhte mein itna bada lag raha hai. Solve karne mein aur thoda sa confusing tha. So better to leave this question uh, when uh, you are going in the first round of solving the question paper. Later on, if the time permits, you can come back to this question. Now, this is a three cross three matrix that is given to us. And you'll have to fill the numbers starting from 31 up to 39. So nine numbers will be filled here. Okay. Now, there are plenty of conditions which are given. Let's talk about the conditions. So 38 is above 39. 38 is above 39. And 38 is to the right of 32. 38 is to the right of 32. Okay. So this is the first condition. Now above, right, below, it can be immediate left, immediate right, immediately above, immediately below. There can be one uh, row between them. There can be one column between them. So zaruri nahi hai ki immediate ho. It can be uh, like uh, one after this one. Okay. Second statement, 37 is to the, 33 is to the right of 37. So 37, then 33 is to the right of 37. And above 39, 39 ke upar hai, 39 which is to the left of 34, 34 ke left mein 39 hai. Done? Third, 32 is to the left of 35. 32 is to the left of 35. Done. 37 is above 36. 37 is above 36 and 32. Okay. Next, 31 is above 35. Okay. Now, considering this, 37 is above 36 and 32. So that means 37 will be in the first row. Looking at this, 37, then 33 and 39, and then 34. So 37 will again be in the first column. So 37 will be in the first row and first column. Okay? Now 37 ke right hand side mein it will be 33 or it can be another number. So 33 and 39 will be in the middle column. So 33 will come here. 39 can be in the second row or the third row. 39 can be at any of these two places. Okay? Now 39 se upar 38 bhi hona chahiye. Okay, so 39 will come in the third row, above which it will be 38, and 38 ke left mein 32 hona chahiye. Okay, now 37 ke niche, according to this, should be 36 and 32, so 36 will come in the third row. Right? Now, next, in dono ko combine kiya, 39 ke right side mein 34. Right? 32 ke right side mein 35, so 32 is here, so yaha pe 35 aa jayega and 31 will come here. So that's it about this arrangement. What is the sum of the numbers in the middle row? Middle row mein sum of the numbers, this is the middle row. 32 plus 38 is 70, 70 plus 35 is 105. So the correct answer is 105, that is option B. Okay, so again, not difficult question, lengthy tha but difficult nahi tha. Question is doable, but not suggested uh, that this question should be done in the first round of solving. You can uh, solve the easier ones, the smaller ones, and then come back to such lengthy questions. Okay, let's move ahead and look at next question, question number nine. Now, question number nine, C E I K S V F H U W. Identify the odd group of letters, odd one. Now, C and E ke beech mein there is one alphabet, C, D and E. I and K, there is again one alphabet between them. F and V, S, T, U and V. There are two alphabets between them. Otherwise, there is one alphabet between every set of alphabets which are given. So, S and V have two alphabets between them. And hence, I can say that this is odd one out. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इजी क्वेश्चन कैलेंडर्स ओके डेट सेम है यू जस्ट नीड टू कंसिडर द ईयर सो ट्वेंटी थ्री अप्रैल नाइनटीन एटी एट से स्टार्ट किया अगर मैंने एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री अप्रैल नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव दिस इज गिवन आज ट्यूजडे सो वट विल बी द नंबर ऑफ ऑड डेज बिटवीन दैम ना हेयर only 7 years are added okay now you have to be careful while counting the number of leap years okay now 1988 is a leap year but we are starting from 23rd of april leap year 29th of february already ja chuka hai so leap year effect 99 1988 ka count nahi hoga 1988 is a leap year but leap year effect is ka count nahi hoga theek hai So 1988 leap year effect will not be counted. Next leap year is 1992. So 1992 is the first leap year, and then that will be only leap year. So out of these seven years, one leap year and six normal years. Leap year ke corresponding two add kar dete hain. Normal year ke corresponding one. So total number of odd days is eight. Eight when divided by seven remainder is one. So the number of odd days between these two dates is one. Now, since we are going in the reverse direction, 1995 से 1988 पे जाना है तो one will be subtracted. So Tuesday minus one will be Monday. Monday will be the correct answer for this question. Okay. So जिसने भी थोड़ा सा भी study किया है calendars, they would easily understand the solution of this question. Right? Next question, odd one out. ये वाला question starting में तो like uh, for the first ten seconds. uh it it looked a little difficult but then it was easy now 143 is a perfect square minus 1 168 is 169 minus 1 195 is 196 minus 1 but this is a perfect square that is 15 square okay so perfect square minus 1 are together and perfect square that is 225 will be the odd one out among these given numbers ओके चलिए आप चलते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट द सीरीज नाउ अगेन दिस वन इज अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन आई वुड से दैट डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है ये ओके चेक करते हैं अब व्हाट इज द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी हियर सो 564 इट स्टार्टेड विद डिवाइडेड बाय 3 कर देते हैं ओके सो इट विल कम आउट टू बी 1 8 वेट डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री और डिवाइडेड बाय फोर डिवाइड बाय फोर हो सकता है यस डिवाइडेड बाय फोर भी हो सकता है सो डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री नहीं डिवाइडेड बाय फोर करते हैं सो फाइव सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय फोर सो इट विल बी वन फोर वन वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी वन इसके अंदर मैंने इलेवन एड कर दिया आई गेट वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू डिफिकल्ट Then again, one fifty-two divided by four. Okay, so one fifty-two divided by four is coming out to be thirty-eight. Ten is added; it will become forty-eight. So divided by four plus eleven, the first case. Divided by four plus ten, the second case. Then again, divided by four, this will be twelve, and then plus nine, it will give me twenty-one. So now I can see the series. So next, twenty-one divided by four is five point two five plus eight. That will be thirteen point two five. A difficult logic to crack. Okay, so if you are unable, still unable to crack this logic, it's absolutely fine. You can leave this type of question. Okay. Now let's go to the last question. Now last question match. List one with list list two. Now I could not find the complete answer for this, but based on uh, a few alphabets, we can write the answer. Okay. So I could see that these three words are ending with e, the same alphabet, and these three are ending with c, the same alphabets. So a will be associated with two. A will be associated with two, which is option A. Which is only option A, so I can say that the correct answer for this question should be option A, 
right? There is nothing else we could do. Or uh, you can also see that uh, if if these two are matched, then the remaining LE and LE at the end and JC and JC at the end. So B will be uh, associated with number four. B is associated with number four. Again, this is in option A. Okay. So option A, I can say that should be the correct answer for question number 30. Right. So friends, that is all about all the analytical reasoning questions in the logical reasoning section of CMAT 2023. Today we have discussed both the slots. All right. I hope uh, you all will get a wonderful result and uh, will be able to get some good college in uh, or, or through CMAT 2023. Now, anyone who wants to prepare for CAT 2023, we have new batches available in which you can enroll. So this is the complete details that are given on your screen for the comprehensive program for CAT 2023. Also, a link is given in the description using which you can fetch all the details and enroll in this program. All right. Now, after, uh, to enroll in this program, you can get up to 90% scholarship on these CAT preparation programs. So the next scholarship test is being conducted on 28th of May at 11 a.m. So hurry up and register for this examination. For the students who are preparing for CAT, a six-month strategy, test-taking strategy to CAT 2023, a wonderful session to be taken by Gautam Bhava sir will be conducted on 21st of May at 11 a.m. So limited seats are available. So make sure that you register for the session and take an advantage over the other students. Also on our application, you can brush up your basics by attempting daily section wise quizzes. So yes, these quizzes are available on daily basis on our application. But for that, first of all, you'll have to download the application from Google Play. Okay. Now for the students who are preparing for CAT examination and other management, uh, uh, management entrance examinations, a series 500 most expected CAT questions, which started from 6th of April, will continue up till CAT examination. So you can take advantage of this series in which we cover the most expected questions for CAT examination. That's it from my side, my dear friends. You can get social with us on these platforms. Thank you very much for being a part of this session. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.